right, today we're gonna just do a little adjustment on the reel mower, the reel to the bed knife. And I got a few strips of paper that I'll be testing. And I also got, I think it's a six millimeter hex wrench. So there's two adjustment points. One here on the left, the other on the right. And you just gotta kinda play with it till it is uh, makes good contact from left, middle to right. So we'll start with the left. Cuts pretty well in the middle. Not really cutting that great. So I think I'm gonna make an adjustment on the right here. When I turn it to the left, it kind of eases up a little bit. I'll turn it to the right just a little bit. It's right there. Let's try test paper. Still not there. A little bit more. A little bit more tighter. A new piece of paper. That sound will go away once you start mowing and it gets a little wet. Or you can also spray it with some WD-40. Test this left side one more time. Ah, move this a little bit tighter. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a mow up in this direction. You hear that squeak's kind of going away once you start mowing. Real mowing, in my opinion, is the best way to go when it comes to caring for your lawn and the overall health of it. Gives it a nice scissor cut. The edges will be nice and sharp instead of uh, sometimes with the rotor mowers, it can get a little um, ripped apart and it'll leave kind of a little haze on the top edges. And it can also invite disease. So we're cutting this lawn right now at the highest setting on the reel which is just a smidge under two inches. I would say probably more like maybe one and three quarters or so, 1.75 inches. But I uh, love the way it looks. I'm gonna keep trying to mow it, um, usually on the daily. And when you're done with it, you can kind of shake some of the debris off, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for coming along here with my uh, annual real mower maintenance. We'll see you next time.